Thank you for calling Medtronic 24-Hour Helpline. My name is Carol. How can I help you? Hi. The eerie last phone call from a diabetes patient with a malfunctioning insulin pump. As the call goes on, Christine Laundrie struggles to remember her date of birth. Uh, November. Oh, shit. November the Medtronic says it will call back in the morning, but by then, Laundrie is unconscious, in a hypoglycemic coma, wearing her insulin pump, the device that was supposed to keep her blood sugars stable, even though she had a medical history of sharp ups and downs. And then the uh, endocrinologist, when she was in ICU, she said, you know, because she was such a brittle diabetic, she was not even a candidate for the pump. Christine Laundrie never recovered, remaining in a vegetative state. Laundrie not only used a pump, she actually trained insulin pump users for Medtronic. Her family is suing the company, pointing out the pump is now recalled. Medtronic says Laundrie was negligent for using it improperly. The same pump and a similar story for another Ontario woman, Brenda Peeker. A deadly dose of insulin took everything away. My children don't have their grandmother, and they cry. They look at pictures of her, and they cry, and they wish that they could see her again. Sarah Peeker and her lawyer have filed a suit, claiming the company knew her model of insulin pump was faulty, a claim Medtronic has yet to respond to. I want people to know that who are using insulin pumps that there is risk. Data we obtained from Health Canada shows that since 2008, there were 103 deaths and more than 1,900 injuries involving insulin pumps. And almost 6,500 incidents had the potential for injury or death. During the same period, Health Canada issued 40 recalls for various pumps. This Alberta endocrinologist has consulted for insulin pump makers. He says pump malfunctions are more likely user error than defective devices, but he can't know for sure. Though he says their growing popularity could mean growing risk. I have expressed my unhappiness if I feel that pumps are being marked or pushed too heavily at patients who have not been adequately trained in managing their diabetes. Medtronic, which is the biggest player in the insulin pump market, says clinical studies demonstrate its products help people successfully control their diabetes, and that incident reports don't mean their devices caused harm. Still, Health Canada says as a result of recent concerns, companies now have to provide more detailed testing data before new pumps are licensed. As for Christine Laundrie, after six years in her state and declining health, in September, her family removed life support. She would have turned 55 today. Vicodopia, CBC News, Ottawa. CBC News has compiled an exhaustive database on medical devices, so you can search for specific information relevant to you. Just go to cbcnews.ca slash medical devices.